for $25,000 after his colleague farted in his face. <laughs> 25,000. Wait, are they suing the market? They're suing the supermarket. Why? Good executed fart in the face never really happens because as soon as somebody does that to yeah. you, you immediately move. Yeah. So usually That's the hard. best ones is when you're sleep, like someone's sleeping and you do it and it takes a moment for them to soak yeah. You farted at somebody's face in a supermarket, dude, they would have shut that whole place or down. Or if you get fucking gas masked. Me and my homie were watching a movie so it's fucking, you know, in a, in a movie theater, it's hella fucking quiet, it's dark, you're zoned in, and then this one was timing my inhales, and then the minute that I inhaled, <laughs> he cupped it and put it on, <laughs> I'm like, fuck, I couldn't even get it out in time, dude. That is an expert. But I'm like, that is a great technique. <laughs> Why the fuck was this fool double dutching oh your ass, dude? <laughs> you know what I mean? He was watching, he was like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the fuck was that, that shit? He was an expert for yeah, sure. He was, dude. I would be mad at him for being such a loser. <laughs> I was like, that's some loser shit, dude. <laughs> that is pretty loser. Yeah. <laughs> guys are dumb. Yeah, <laughs> guys are pretty stupid. I've never had a girlfriend do anything remotely close to any of that. Never been queefed on? <laughs> uh, queef, yeah. She's double touching the queef? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're all Bro, surprised you've never been queefed on? Queefs on your face. Oh my god, that's that's classic, right? That's that'd be amazing. I'm pretty sure all guys have been queefed on by a girl. Uh, well yeah, I see what you're saying, yeah. I've had the privilege. <laughs> I was blessed. That was blessed. Queefed on in the face? That's a common. I didn't say the face. Oh, I like it during oh, sex oh, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought you meant in the face. No, you guys added too many words. Oh. He got me. Because right. I was thinking in the way that guys do it. Like, you know, guys are trying to fart in yeah, your face. Yeah, you guys are dumb. We're not dumb. So I thought it was a girl like trying to like spread her lips in front of me and fucking try to You don't have to face. spread your lips. It just happens. Oh, fuck. You know a woman's vagina? He doesn't know a woman's vagina at all, man. For him, I think because it's all sexy, so he's always trying to spread <laughs> the lips all the time. Like, yep. that's what makes it sexy. Everything. He spread first, the lips. <laughs> when you guys first had that queef experience, uh, for guys, like, did oh, okay. you did you try not to laugh? No. Okay. Well, I you laughed. Yo, I was mortified, man. I was, I was yeah. trying not to giggle just yeah, because I was like, oh my god, her pussy farted. Like this shit was hilarious. I like. I, it's not. It's not more of the queef that's funny. It's always they're like. Oh. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Yeah. It's like mad cute. Like it's kind of like cute and just funny. The reaction because they have a level of like, oh, so, yeah, because like, yeah, we don't fart. Yeah, so it's yeah. like it's like the girl version of like dabbing herself with a napkin. Because <laughs> yeah. it happens more often. In a doggy style. Yeah. It's not necessarily. I don't know. For me, it's always with the legs on the shoulders. Same. Oh, Every really? time. Same. My legs are behind my head. When I'm in the pretzel <laughs> position, I fucking hate that. Don't you guys hate that? The fucking pretzel position? Oh, really? You just, yeah. yeah, yeah, your legs are like back here. I'm just kidding. One time that, had, that happened and the girl was like, was that you or me? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean that was you? Like, I didn't just fart, like, don't queef. She tried to blame you. She's trying to blame you. That's so funny. I like how she's having to, trying to have a conversation, though. Like, it doesn't no, matter. I'm out. You or me? I was like, bitch, I saw your fucking labias move. <laughs> you know, it's AC at the, at the supermarket. It's like, it's like somebody held up some kelp and went like this. Ew! <laughs> I'm sure I was Dr. Hill. Dr. Zoyberg. Zoyberg, yeah, not him. Zoyberg. It was a draft in a drapes. Yeah. <laughs> Your shit, dude. That's some oh, loose ass pussy, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about this. Sideways lid. <laughs> There's like two bros dabbing each other. Yeah. <laughs> Cartoon playing a harmonica. <laughs> All right, so we're talking about this farting thing, right? So, Atif, he's 42 years old. He says that he's been experiencing racism and bullying because of his Muslim background <laughs> a mommy blogger refuses to stop bullshitting oh, i'm sorry what <laughs> was it oh, I'm sorry. Publishing. a mommy blogger refuses to stop publishing <laughs> bullshitting <laughs> the way you said it too you might even take three on that one <laughs> a mommy blogger refuses to stop publishing stuff about motherhood despite her daughter's <laughs> pleas dun, 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 dun. her pseudonym is rochelle that's Rochelle. What, that's what the girl <laughs> David. Right. That's a pseudonym. <laughs> Rochelle. Pseudo name. Oh, pseudo name. Oh, yeah, I said it weird, huh? Yeah. Pseudonym. Um, but yeah, so then Rochelle. she wrote all that. But 
This essay got backlash, like for this example. This essay got backlash? <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you the fucking street life? Just can't let it go, man. Yeah, I know. This is my this blood. This got yeah. backlash. I do, I do miss the tiff that I first met. <laughs> really? It was like really like heavy. It was heavy as fuck. It was. You'd be like Isaac. Like you like a Isaac, come here. Isaac, come here. <laughs> yeah, I remember Hold like onto come those. Here. I don't remember any of them. You don't remember? You don't even remember, remember meeting me. <laughs> <laughs> he met me like four times. You look so different though. I did. I look at old videos that when you first started coming in, and then I'm like, oh my god, you no wonder look David. The same at all. Yeah, no wonder David did not. Braces, glasses, haircut. You look very much the, the type that R. Kelly would like. Very young, 12 year old. I have a confession, Tiff. What? I thought you had a lazy eye. <laughs> <laughs> You don't, though. <laughs> I love that confession. That could have been some shit that you take to the grave. It would have made no difference. But I'm glad you told me. What made you think that? Because for the first few years, I would just look, and then I'd be like... Years? Because you, you were very quiet. You? And I'd be like... Mm, Casey's girlfriend got a lazy eye. She can't what look makes straight. You think that? I can't, can't look, look straight. Wait a minute, Joe. We know you have a problem with looking at people straight in the eye. Yeah, so maybe it's I'll you. Look at people in the eye. What That's makes... so true. Because you would, he would literally look at me for two seconds and look away. Yeah. Because he thought you had a lazy eye. I didn't want to stare. <laughs> I didn't want to stare. <laughs> really? Yeah, I didn't want to stare. He was like, oh. Oh good. shit. I was just like, I was just oh. like, oh. Oh, I was like, does Casey know this? There he or is. How can you yeah. love her? And then every time I saw you, she was like, this I is what Joe God. pictured Tiff look like. <laughs> no, 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 not that. Ew, Jesus! Ew! I like this, and then the other yeah, eye yeah, straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that broke ass Barbie, dude. No, 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 that's not a lazy eye. A, a lazy eye is when your wi eyes are wide open, but one is looking oh. the other way. Yeah. I thought a lazy eye was that. My bad. No, 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 it's when one oh, eye... Oh, yeah, one eye just kind of looks, veers yeah. off to the right. Wait, yeah. so for real, what made you think that? I have no idea. I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really don't know. And then, like, I think I actually started looking, and I was like, oh, okay. Why did I think that? <laughs> one so year. Long? Yeah, one why year. did I think for so long? I was like, because every time I would, like, look over, I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. Because it's like, if someone has a mole, so, did or you someone see has photos something... Of me? You could have stared at a photo of me. I don't know. I don't know why my brain thought that. But for I love like this confession. For, the long, for the longest time though, I was just like, fuck, I, I don't wanna I don't want her to be self-conscious. So I didn't wanna Well now she's gonna be that she, so she has nice. a lazy eye face. No, you don't, doesn't. obviously you don't. She doesn't think that. No. But like every time and it was severe, like in my brain. It oh, was like shit. your eyes were wide open like this. But then it was it was it was veering off to the side wow. like a goldfish. Well, we then, made so many videos. I know. We had like evidence. No, no, before you were in the videos, oh, like okay. for a whole solid year, That's like true. yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Damn, oh I wish God. we had some recordings of the way you used to speak, because I would like to listen to them. I'm pretty sure they're out there. Isaac. I have some of Isaac's baby videos. Those ones. God. Isaac. Hey, look it, Isaac. Look, look it. it. Walking right now, fool. Yeah. Oh. I didn't say fool. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Pretty, Pretty much, much, you might as well. Like, are these are like Isaac's right first now? words, Holmes? Isaac. Holmes? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid, I didn't say that. Hey, I We gotta be like, Isaac, why are you crying? Oh, yeah. Isaac, why are you crying? <laughs> what? Oh, no, I was gonna say, so this essay got backlash. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, yeah. So this essay got, got backlash. backlash. Sam for hours, then had to brave a winter storm. Wasn't that in a movie? The guy's name is Achu. What the fuck? Really? Chinese? Achu? No, it was like a sneeze, and then it was like, like that, yeah. that became somebody's this thing name. thing kind of happened to me. We are uh, a few years ago in Big Bear. Um, this is like right after it was raining. So like any part of dirt that had, uh, any part of dirt was like really, really mushy, and the Big Bear Lake kind of dried up a little bit. So while we're waiting for the other party to come. I was against this whole thing. Next to our cabin, we're just like, what should we do? And I'm like, well, the only logical thing to do is to go off-roading. And then since half of the Big Bear Lake dried up from my eyes, I was like, I'm just gonna drive across the lake. That'll be so fucking badass. I love it. So I'm right there, I gas the car, I'm ready we have to go. A picture, dude. This was last year or something? Or two, Recent? Two or three years ago. Yeah. I floor the car, I go, go right into the lake and immediately just get stuck. <laughs> 
because it's, it's thick mud, right? So my tires are fucking buried into the fucking thing. I'm like, Rrr. I'm like, oh fuck! I try to put in the reverse, Rrr. just fucking spitting like like mud out. And keep then, sinking. Yeah, and I let yes. the dog. I let the dogs jump out. The dogs. Are no, I let, so I like, might as well let them run around. Well, you were yeah. gonna go off roading with the dogs inside. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not. It's not like this. It was just like just a That's bunch all. of flat dirt. Flat bed. And then so the dogs jump out. And they immediately jump out and sink into the mud, and the mud is like on their chest. <laughs> and then to top that off, so we're stuck in the middle. This stupid, you know how big this fucking truck is. These fucking idiots in the middle, and we're just waiting, right? So then, off from a distance, there's a bunch of dogs. Uh, Nadim and the whole crew, they, they finally get there. And then Nadim's like, you know, being Nadim and trying to help us. So he runs to us, jumps off the dock, and then immediately he sinks in the fucking yeah. dirt up to here. So he just jumps anyway. Oh. Anyway, oh. Oh. That's how deep the mud was yes. to his thighs? Yes. And then he was stuck too, so all the guys are trying no. to pull his ass out. He loses his shoe in the mud. And we're like, <laughs> <laughs> how do we never hear this story? And then, you know, and then what's crazy is, uh, so the tow truck people came, so they're like professional big bear like tower people, right? They called him a dummy. So they, they, yeah, he called me a dummy. He comes in this fucking <laughs> crazy off-road looking Jeep, and he comes in, he like, uh, he has like these waders and he comes all the way up to me hooks me with this metal cable thing and The minute he turns the winch on which is the thing that rolls the metal cable back into the Jeep the Jeep gets pulled into the mud too because uh, my truck was just so stuck and now his big ass fucking tires no, are baby. also in the mud and then so we have two off-road cars in the mud so we have to call another tow truck and then this one was like super like dually like monster looking yeah, thing great. so it has these so it stays on land and then it puts like these two like oh, metal legs. Like so it's like a giant bipod. That's and, crazy. and then you have to run that See line shit, to, come like, go through? to pull the Jeep and then the Jeep to pull my car. They charge you for all that? Oh, fuck yeah. I had to pay like $1,700. Oh. Yeah, dude. Oh, that's for two companies? Yes. Yeah, yeah so I, that pulled that thing, that thing pulled and my car. And a ticket. Car. Damn, on what, top of the a ticket. What's the ticket for? Well, the cop ended up coming. Well, because that's illegal to go into a lake. Uh, He's like, you're not allowed to drive property. into a lake. And I was like, technically, it's not a lake because there's no water. Yeah, he's like, you can't. So how did the cop know? Did someone call? Because everyone's funny. He got what like, saw mean? three trucks. Like, I think the whole town probably came yeah, out. Yeah, it's such like, a small. The the you know when you're driving up to Big Bear and it's that little town with the big ass? That's where our dumbasses were in that thing. Are you talking about the one that's on the left? There's a bunch of big boulders. Yeah, the, yeah. and then and then it's kind of like there's homes around yeah. it. I'm that's just surprised it. I never knew this. I mean, I have my Instagram <laughs> picture. If you scroll past it, you'll see my there's car. A like, there's a vlog. I do remember <laughs> the photo, but I didn't know yeah. like to the extent of this whole story. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. You are an asshole, dude. That was awesome. But, but we had a, a great asshole. time. Then we had a great time. No. I had a great time. Like four or five hours. It wasted like a, a long time. Were you supposed to leave that day or was it in the middle <laughs> of the No, we had just gotten there. That's our first day. That's our first day. We just day. got there. I love the childhood wonderment and excitement of the, of the idea of yeah. driving. And I was like this the whole time with a fucking bitch face. Like, don't do it. You don't do it. And then he got stuck. He probably didn't even get 30 seconds. It was, hell yeah! yeah. Woo! Literally. That was like 10 seconds. Literally. Yeah. That was it. It was like 10 seconds. He was like, oh shit. And then he'd go in reverse. And then it kicks and it just keeps sinking. I'm like. And I turn over to look at her and she's already like, I fucking told you, mother. <laughs> yeah. That always, that always sucks. I used to have a really straight posture before I got with him. Now I'm a fucking question mark. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know it was fun. You knew when, no. he, when he opened the door <laughs> and you could see the dirt right there immediately. No, That's I was pissed because awesome. I'm like, I foresaw this shit. Did you I ever get know. out of the car and like dirty your own selves too? Yeah, she was yeah. running around squishing the mud with me. I want to know what exactly Nadim <laughs> thought he would was going to accomplish. Yeah, I don't know. By jumping. I was probably being nosy. I see. The funny thing is he didn't, okay. he yeah, had no. to jump from the dock instead yeah. of just walking in and going, oh, this is muddy. I can't do this. Right. No, it, it's dog, a trick though. Uh, it looks solid. Yeah, yeah you it would think it looks solid. And then there's certain spot, spots where you press it, and it's like, oh, okay, this is solid. And then there's some that you just sink. You know, it like, was tricky. you ever like look at those like National Geographic pictures where like the the, the sand dirt's all cracked? Mm -hmm. So there's parts of it where it looks dry and cracked, and then you step on it, goes whoosh, and goes right under because it's all mud because it's a former lake, so it's probably like six. I wonder where the fish go, dude. You're lucky you didn't just go all the way fucking in.
Damn. Yeah. How would you have gotten sure. out? That would have been even a better vlog. <laughs> if the mud was to the windows. Good title. And Good then title. I would have to climb through the windows. That would have been awesome. I'd have to yeah. stand on top of my car. so the fucking pissed. Then I would be like, Nadine, take a picture of this. The fucking thumbnail for that. Yeah. Be like, I totaled my South car. South African pastor is in hot water after pulling a fake stunt. Oh. Uh, is he, is he going like, oh, in the power of oh, spirit? It? Yeah. The blood of a Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. What is his name? Jesus. <laughs> Elliot. Hey, Hello, Elliot. 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 Hello. Jesus. Lift your hands. Marabusa. Lift your hands. Yes. My good God, He's gonna wake up and start dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can we rewind that real quick? Marabushi. Can we rewind? He said marabushi. Get the fuck out of here. He said marabushi. Yo. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! You got international reach! But a bullshit! <laughs> He's like, JK News? How was that? That is some holy powers if she Yo, said but a bullshit. Play that shit again. <laughs> Oh man! She said what a bullshit. That's tight. <laughs> she said what a bullshit. Real clear too. Yeah. Mara a bullshit. Wow. Maybe it's, it means something in in her language. Obviously. I don't, <laughs> I don't think she's not saying what a bullshit. <laughs> Right. I'm hoping she's really not I'm saying done. but a bullshit. I'm done, dude. Oh my All god. Right, man in Santa Rosa, California, he had he was forced to cut down the size of a fence that he recently put up. That's wine country, right? Santa Rosa? Yes, yes. Oh, Santa yeah. Rosa. Continue, so, Tiff. Continue. Oh no, he had to cut down a fence. So he built a six foot tall fence <laughs> to keep his two dogs in his yard. Makes sense. It cost nine thousand dollars. Yep. But then a neighbor filed a complaint with the city, saying that it obstructed the view. When he was spying on him in the shower. Oncoming yeah. traffic. <laughs> so. <laughs> so his name is Jason. This is Jason. Yes, yeah, saw. He's a blood. So in order to <laughs> this, oh. in order to protest. What is that? To protest, he put a whole bunch of naked mannequins in his yard because now everyone could see inside his yard. So he was like, oh, you want to see inside? Well, then here you go. And so he set up like a little tea party. This is a blood, dude. That's weird. This is the fence. He's he had to cut it down right. in half. Oh. Oh, Aww, no. that sucks. He owns a moving company, so he's wearing like his moving company. Wait, the city actually <laughs> sided with his neighbors? I'm huh? The city what? sided with his neighbors? Maybe there's yeah. a city ordinance One rule. neighbor. Damn, that, was... that sucks. Well, usually the the nice thing to do when you build a fence is to kind of tell your neighbor that's affected. That's true. Because when we, uh, when my brother built the fence, we went and hit up the neighbor behind us and everyone that's affected by it. So just so you guys are watch this fool lives like a block away and he's like, I don't like it when I drive by. It. Well, the thing is, I could. <laughs> so his house is in a corner. Oh. That's why. Because they go up to the stop sign and then they say that they can't see the oncoming traffic oh. because the fence is blocking. Oh. So that's why like legally like he can't have this fence. Oh. Or did the neighbor that complained is always wearing all blue? Maybe. Uh -huh. We don't know what his real intentions are. He owns a different moving company. Yeah. A competitor. No, he's a crypt, so Tiff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that you were saying it was a crib, but I was just saying, like, adding to it that he also worked. She was trying to yes and. I know. I was yes anding you. Don't have moving companies. They have stealing companies. Oh my goodness. This was so upset her. No, he's a crib, Tiff. <laughs> That's freaking brazy, all right? See, I can never yes and. It just doesn't try I think you did a great job. Oh, thank you, I Megan. Laughed, yeah. Thank you so you much. You did do a great job. Yes, yeah, so In another dimension. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you so mean to me, Bart? Am I? Yeah, yesterday I, I sent you, yesterday I sent you the call sheet. Hey, it's not off the record. You responded with <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> that shit made me laugh. See? I gotta show that. It was pretty funny. They, they believe you. her. No, they don't. <laughs> they don't. No, they don't. See? She goes, Hola, just sent out the call sheet. Please respond to the email. Confirm see you tomorrow. Fuck you. <laughs> 
You said, fuck you too, motherfucker. I was like, damn. I saw it. Exactly. You know, I was talking to Casey about that recently. I'm like, oh, you know what's weird? Like, no one, none of our friends, like, we don't give each other um, air, help? moving help or air airport, airport rides. Airport rides. Because yeah. that, that used to be the oh, thing. Because yeah. we're, we're, we are real friends now. No, you know I mean, what I mean? We don't, we don't, well, we used to do it. Yeah, we used we to. Can, can you come anymore? over at like 4 a.m.? Right. But now it's like, we could just get an Uber and not bother anybody. But then I saw right. Casey too, I'm like, that's maybe helping your friends a lot is like an early 20s thing. True. I feel bad asking people for help. Me too. Same, dude. Me too. Me too. Cause I'm like, if, if I'm busy, how busy are you then too? But we don't build bonds that way though. Well, I mean, yeah, we because build bonds it's when like, we punch each other in the face. It's like, it's like, <laughs> if I do have time, I don't want to do work with you. I want to just fucking chill. chill. Yeah. Let's go vacation. Let's do something. Let's that's do true. something else where we're not working. But then if we're doing an activity, like I don't want it to be a chore, I want it to be like a hobby. So it's like let's get together and have a like a cook off or like let's do something. Yeah, like For let's go reason, let's go like watch a fight. Like, don't laugh at us. I love, I don't you dare cook laugh. Off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you never had a cook off with your friends? <laughs> You like cry. You, you're not gonna fool anybody. We're like, she's having fun over there. <laughs> she's just waiting for somebody to make yeah. her cry. This is my mask. <laughs> oh, give it to me. Give it to me. I want the tears. <laughs> the tears. What about my face? Oh, say something about my parents now. Oh. <laughs> the same. Just sad news. <laughs> you don't cook with your friends. Yeah, but I don't have a cook off. Like, who can make the best pasta? You're not competitive with your friends? <laughs> no, we have like the biggest potlucks. Yeah, yeah potlucks are not cook offs. Oh. Because a cook off denotes like competition. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's yeah. what I didn't know. I thought cook off was just we're all cooking. Potluck, I just spit in his food. It's like friendly comp competition. <laughs> oh. I we're, we never, we never participate in that competition. Yeah. We like to. Yeah. We don't even like to eat it. No. <laughs> we're just hanging out. We just, we just chill. Dude, I, I went to, uh, we had a Sem Foods. Oh, it wasn't a Sem Foods, it was a show called Instant Chef that I was on. And this dude was making like gumbo at home. Uh huh. Ugh, makes you want to make the gumbo again, dude. Yeah. Oh God, that story oh. went nowhere. I know. Oh, yeah. He just thought about food <laughs> and he's had to talk <laughs> about food. Gumbo sounds awesome. David's gumbo. Well, that is something that we always used to do. Fourth of July, yep. like well, gathering. you a bigger house and you, you haven't invited us. House. I know, yeah. what's Yikes. up with that? You know what's been happening. Fine, I didn't want, I, I just... So why would you call me out and fucking tell you I'm not inviting you? I didn't think we were gonna bring up real shit. <laughs> I didn't think we were gonna bring up real shit. We're just trying to have fun, Joe. All right, moving on to the last story. You know what's been happening yeah. in my life. <laughs> why you gotta lie, Jill? The episode where everyone just cries. I know. Oh, oh, thanks a I'm lot. trying to get you to cry. We're happy. Weeping. <laughs> You're having the best. All right, so for our last story. It's a cry off. Joe, I love oh, you. No. <laughs> cry off. He's trying to have a cry off right now. I know. <laughs> I'll fucking cry my ass off right now. like, hey, I was just putting you on the spot for lies on camera. And I'm like, God damn it, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> you know why you guys don't get invited right now. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to separate, I'm just trying to separate fun from real. And I can't even do that because you're reminding me right now. Okay, let's move on. Right now. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> Pure chaos. <laughs> he did to give me a break. Know, give me a fucking break, all right? <laughs> Stop busting my motherfucking balls. <laughs> For our last story. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be till fall till I invite you guys now. Gio just fucked it up for everybody. For our last damn story. We're going to Tiff's house. <laughs> yeah, you guys can come over. We just put it off front of the house, so we're coming to my house. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. If we get it. I thought you didn't want to jinx it. Why are you making it all real? <laughs> Because remember yesterday, we were gonna, what, were we, what were we gonna say? We're talking to someone. We're like, should we tell someone? I love how someone is. We were vlogging. Was it your mom? We were vlogging. Oh. <laughs> it was the world. When you're when you were staring at the pink. When we're talking to, we're vlogging, and we're like, should we tell the vlog uh, that we but put in an offer? That we're That's gonna put in, That we're gonna put in an offer. And she goes, no, don't people. jinx it, because you know, like in LA, it's so competitive. So we just want to leave it in the air and see if we get it. But I guess she but made it real. You guys are friends. You guys are And then friends. she actually told a camera. Well, no, I told you guys, and you guys oh, still happen to be here. It's officially jinxed if it's on camera. Uh, I don't know her no. rules. I don't give a fuck about that <laughs> shit. <laughs> anyway, I've been trying to move on. I hope on. you guys get it. I've been trying to move on. I've been on. trying to move on. Okay. And they've been well, trying to move into a house. I know. Good luck on that. For like two years. <laughs> oh, that didn't hurt. That's tight. 
Oh, nice. It's more pretty. I couldn't have done that last week. I couldn't have done double Please. piece. We're, we're all getting better every day. <laughs> Megan, you try to move on. Oh, you try to move on. Okay, our next story. I hope everyone's doing all right. Um, <laughs> okay, perfect. Cool. Well done. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You just right. got to hope people are doing okay because we're all not. <laughs> all right, so for our last story, there was a machete fight during a robbery at a oh, gas station. Oh, no, that's the worst. What? I will <laughs> How often do you see How often did you live? What kind of statement was that? Oh, oh that's the worst. <laughs> What's happening? Did they report two people got butt fucked by pitchfork? Oh my god, that's the worst. It's like, that is the worst. Sundays at our house, huh? <laughs> you said it like you put on eyeliner and then you actually put a dot right there. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, it's just <laughs> it's too hard to something. What was that, that was a lot. What happened? That's the worst. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, because it's just really sad. That's all. Yeah, but you don't say it like that. That's not how the that's not how the phrase works. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Mario right now, dude. That's some shit Mario would say. <laughs> Fucking cute. Okay, let me show you guys this video. Where horrifies his viewers after passionately kissing his sister Blech. for a video. I saw the thumbnail. That's I didn't click it. Like what that. the fuck? Can we guess I, I the ethnicity? <laughs> Can we play guess the ethnicity? Oh my god. I was just thinking about this that morning. I, I, dude, well, the other thing is I won't have an answer for you because I don't know what his is. Can you guys write in the comment? Because I know you guys will find it. You guys are awesome detectives. To me, he looks white. So this is actually a really... He's like half white, half something. That's what I thought. I thought it was, it? No, I thought it was either going to be a white guy or a rice gum. Well, <laughs> what's a rice gum? He's like some other guy, but he, he does oh. like a lot of white people type shit. Do you want to play a quick game or a quick kiss for all of you two? I mean, not really, but... <laughs> but you'll do it to help me out because they want to see it. I guess. Okay, here we go. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, for what? Scissors. Ooh. It's a challenge. I win. <laughs> Dude, this is so awkward. Wait, if you win, it's like what? You you kiss first or I don't get the no, game? No, if she would have won, they wouldn't have done the kiss. Like this. Oh! What the? <laughs> like, he really wants to, though. Yeah, he does. He's so he eager. Oh, he wants this. <laughs> cool, that's it. You did it. Over. Oh, no. But why? Why, why again? Face? Why again? Yeah. And why They've done that? this before. They've, They've done, done this it before. before. They've, They've done, done this before. They are way too comfortable. Look, y'all watch Game of Thrones. Don't act like you're afraid of this. And so, like, a call interrupts it. But then, look. He brings her back in. Ew! This is weird. Bart, this is look at the screen, so Bart. weird. Bart, what the Bart. fuck is going? Ew! And then watch, watch, watch. And then like they pull away, and then he's like, "Female." What the fuck? Ew! Why were they looking at the camera like that? Ew! What are they doing? Again? The dog's like, like no. no. He's not even doing it for the audience. No, no. He's doing it for himself. He I think he forgot the camera. He's was doing there. it for himself. Oh, my God. I oh. Dude, that's disgusting. Oh my. He really wants. I feel to. really disgusted. Right I'm not now. that disgusted because I don't know anything about them. It just looks like two people kissing. You know, I'm disgusted because I have a brother. And Same. I'm like, I can't. I have only that, half siblings. That thought can never incept my mind. Yeah, dude. I never once wondered what, like, what would that be like? I'm like never. In my never. Mind, in my mind, I'm thinking, <gasps> you're not Sorry. The 74 year old woman stumbled and suffered a head and face injuries while oh, she was no. hiking in Arizona's Phoenix Mountain Preserve. That's what she gets for going outside. Yeah, I never go there. And so <laughs> this, the Phoenix Fire Department rescued her by airlifting her to a hospital, but the video <gasps> getting oh, oh, yeah, that's went right. viral. <laughs> it's good. It's a good video. It's fucking funny. Is this oh, like the fucking yeah. Simpsons where they so pick bad. him up and then he falls and they're like, No, no, oh, we gotta, no, we gotta, we gotta watch this. Oh, yeah. I feel so this. bad for laughing. I fucking cried laughing. <laughs> really? Yeah. Just watch. 74, 74 year, old year old lady. <laughs> Just watch it, please. 74 year old lady. <laughs> Why is that shit spinning so much? That's not even. Oh, Hold on. It gets, gets crazier and crazier and crazier. <laughs> no, it's so good to me. Oh.
Dude, what's going faster, her or the fucking rotator blades? <laughs> She's rescuing the rocket <laughs> Oh shit! Oh my god! Why? 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 Holy shit! Oh no! Oh no! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! It's still funny! Dude, shit's like ice skating, dude! Yes, that's like a video that was only like five seconds long and somebody kept looping it! Is she okay? Can you imagine they fucking unzip that thing and just vomit everywhere? I would have unzipped it. If I was in that shit, I would have like, fuck this thing. I'm fucking get it out of here. Damn. Dude, do they unzip it and just like piss and shit fucking flows out of that thing? Oh my god. Oh, so so they, someone actually counted the time she was spinning? Oh, oh, they would, they would. 175 times. That's it? I thought it would be like 500. I thought it'd be like 17,000. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I love how you guys prepped it though. Everyone's like, she's 74. That really helps you get the laugh that I needed. It does. <laughs> like, what she, oh, I hope she was passed out in there, dude. I hope she was out. <laughs> <laughs> Like she's in there, she's like, oh Jesus. She was actually hunchback, now she's fucking straight now. <laughs> I don't even think the age matters, cause whatever she got rescued from is in a worse now. She might as well have like driven over a forest and the sleeping bag is just fucking hitting on every single tree and cliff and rock on the way out. You know what I picture? Like Roller coasters and the G4 is so intense, you're just like, God yeah. damn. Yeah. You gotta be like, uh, oh God. That's like fucking astronaut training. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's already scary enough for getting pulled up by this thing, but to have that shit. I'm sure she, there was a second where she's like, Am I fucking being punked? I know. Am I getting like, trolled oh, in this moment? Like, is it my brain that's spinning right now? Am I dying? But it's actually the fucking helicopter. She's like, This is what death is. I think I'm dead. How do you stop it? Like, this is so fucking fast. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it gets faster and faster. It's like they're just watching her. It gets faster and faster. No, they gotta be laughing in there. You know they're laughing. You can't lower her. <laughs> Imagine if they lower her, she's like a weed whacker, and yeah, she's just right. taking out all the plants. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my God. It's poor. I just picture her in the going on. I wonder if she was screaming. Damn. I wonder if she just looks at the propeller blade and the propeller blade's not even moving. She's fucking straight the whole time. That's really good. Yeah. She's falling out. It looks like the helicopter's That's moving. That's amazing. Is she okay though? So she's okay. She was treated for dizziness and not. <laughs> Doctors had to find her fucking eyes. They found they found him in they found him in her feet. <laughs> they did give her meds yeah. for that. You had to assemble her back together. Yeah, yeah. So they're saying that what happened was that the extra thing, the cord, the cable, the cable <laughs> that's supposed to stabilize it, is snapped. Oh. oh. I want to hear, hear the conversation inside the helicopter. These rescuers were like, "Oh fuck! Oh fuck!" I'm oh, sure fuck, they're never gonna here. release it. They're probably cracking up too. <laughs> Like, oh no. Damn. How can you not laugh? Especially when they were reporting this. <laughs> Look how fast that bitch like, how can you not fucking. Dude, that is a hell of a tie job. No, uh, we mentioned man that. discovers an old family heirloom is actually worth $90 million. Oh, oh my, my god. god, I need to discover some shit like this. My mom keeps throwing shit away for no fucking reason. We have no heirlooms, dude. And you guys say hoarding is not cool. Well, this is an heirloom, it's not a hoard. <laughs> Yeah, and a family heirloom that's been. What if the family heirloom was like that back scratcher? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this Filipino Canadian man. Ooh. That doesn't exist. He so he's had this heirloom in his family since his grandfather bought it from a fisherman in the Philippines in 1959. And so... <laughs> what was it? A putang and a sword? <laughs> It just says it when you swipe it. We're not gonna. We're not gonna sword. We're not gonna. That sounds like a Pokemon or some shit. We're not gonna sword. I just picture like a. I just picture like a special Filipino sword, and it's like legendary. 
and they treat it with respect when they say it. Utang <laughs> <laughs> sword. Yeah, so that sounds like an ancient ass fucking dinosaur. Utang <laughs> <laughs> sword. An angry one too. Utang <laughs> <laughs> sword. Sorry. Okay. So, uh, all right, so he thought that this one... I just saw you pause your own life. Like... <laughs> okay, back into real. <laughs> she just yawns at it. Putang in a board. Putang in a board. Oh my god, that's funny, guys. Putang in a board. Just everything has that now as a prefix. How did he get it appraised? Like, who? Oh, so. <laughs> he did it? It's the rodeo yeah. show blends that. <laughs> <laughs> he went to Pawn Stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He bought it there. Putang in a praised. Yeah, so. <laughs> Right when they see it, it was putang ina. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you know. 90 million. <laughs> I know. That's... Anything he says that to, 90 million. I know. Putang ina. Yeah, so he took it to get the pearl authenticated at it at the gem. Oh my god. At the gemological oh. institute of America in New York City. But he originally thought Action! it was a show. Sister side of action. You're a weird sister. Don't include any of this, editor. I'm not weird. weird. Yeah, you are. Nope. Ready? She action. Was long over. Shut up. In you go, girl news. You go, girl. You go. <laughs> Shit. Submitted by Jomalian clan in Canada. Oh, There's we a have a Canadian clan. A Vietnamese. Yep. Model may be fine for wearing an offensive dress at the Cannes Film Festival. This was a bikini. Was it? It was a bikini with a see-through cloth. So this model, her name is Nok Trinh, 29 yeah, she's years old. She's got nothing but praise except from Vietnam citizens. Because mm. it is very like uh, see-through, but it still looks very classy and elegant looking. Well, when it's see-through, there's no such thing as classy. Really? When you can see ass cheeks, no. it's not really classy black, anymore. Classy. What about black swan? What about black swan? Isn't what that like that a very like high art type thing, but you see butt cheeks spinning around? <laughs> LA? You black don't swan, see... like the... The black swan. Yeah, what the, the fuck does that mean? royal black swan. The... What does that mean? Like no, the ballet? I, I think he's just talking about ballet, yeah. You mean ballet, yeah, like ballerinas? Yeah, like, like, like the... I was the a ballerina one. and you don't wear oh, fucking shit that's hanging, your, your ass is hanging from it. No, because I don't know if we're on the same page. And what? I wish I knew more. I words. know, but you keep saying fucking the name of I the knew, play. Just I wish say I knew fucking like, ballet with Because you kept asking oh, ballet, ballet. But I don't know who composed it, so I don't know if it was like fucking the monster. You don't have Koski to know who or... composed it. I'm just saying, it's like a, the genre. Composed? It's a movie, bro. No, no, but it's, the, the, it's the title of the movie, but it's also an actual like theme. Ballet! Like, like that play a lot. It's a ballet! That's what it's called. That's what it's called? Like a symphony? Yes. Like a ballet? It's a ballet! Oh, okay. I thought ballet was the activity. I Even didn't then, you could say no. yes. Ballet Are you is like about the opera, like oh. singing, and it's the you show. About the ballet. Yeah. yeah. The ballet includes like a symphony. Oh. Like or music. Like ballet is the art form, not just the spinning around part. Yes. Yeah, it's like saying opera. You yeah. go watch yeah. opera, but you also see yeah. opera. But the spinning part's separate. That's ballet still. It is ballet. Okay, okay, okay. You go see a ballet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you see them. Oh, you them see perform. a ballet. Got it. And okay. then you see them perform. Oh my god. Ballet. Like I was a Got fucking ballerina. It. I can't believe you ignored Got me the entire time. No, because I know you forget shit all the time. What? That was old Geo. She knows shit. Like she remembers oh. shit now. But also you don't but you're also not very good with proper nouns, that's why. Damn, Damn you just keep putting ballet. her down. I'm not trying to put you down. I'm not trying to put you down. No, because I, I don't know what else you were trying was to say. Was it a Chevy Malibu or not? You're like, no, it's so. No, I was just saying, was it a car? Are you oh talking about No, car? she was telling you. Oh. It was a Chevy. Chevy Malibu? It was a Chevy Malibu. Okay, fine. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I was deaf. I should have listened. You said Chevy Malibu. I heard so Wait, car. so how are you comparing ballet to this? <laughs> 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 Get the fuck out, man. Are you fucking with me, dude? Are you fucking with me, bro? I just don't know how they- said it was classy. Like, ballet is classy. And you see butt oh, cheeks still. Okay. No, because I don't see butt cheeks at the ballet. I Are fucking you hate about... this episode. Are you talking about a Cirque show? Like, a Cirque show, I, I see. I think his ballet is some, some fucked up shit. I think you're right, Joe. Because they wear leotards and, like- Black okay. Swan! Not they have one pieces that cover- They have granny patties on, dude. Like, okay. It's uh, not a thong in a ballet. Misty, how many times have I seen Misty's ass? Who's Misty? Never. All the fucking time. No, Misty you Copeland. Don't. I don't know who that is. She's like the Misty ballerina of ballerinas. No, Misty <laughs> Copeland is the first African American ballet, like oh, first chair, ballerina. first chair ballet, ballerina. She's the one that does hip hop too in her ballet. No, 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 no. She She's does classical. the real shit. No, yeah, she does classical, the one I'm talking about. Anyway. Oh, she does like the real shit, like Russian, whatever bullshit okay, that shit is. And you look at her ass a lot, I know. And her butt cheeks are out all the time. They're not out all the time. 
all the time. They're not? Usually, no. Bart, the difference is they're wearing tights with like a leotard over it. Yeah. So, and it's also a, like a, an expected costume or wardrobe. Not all the time either, but, yeah, but their ass they is are. not hanging out. They're wearing like tights and her, this is skin. So there's obviously an issue with butt skin. Her asshole is like like yeah, one gust nipple. away. See nipple me. too. I never saw any nipples. You let me wear that? Fuck if that was her branding, fuck yeah. Bull fucking yeah. shit. No. That's the wrong no. question. If that was her branding, fuck I was fuck surprised. Yeah. So I have like this really see-through, I have a see-through mesh long sleeve shirt, right? But I have a, a bra underneath and you, it, I might as well not be wearing anything else. All you see is the bra and just a little bit of the mesh. Yeah. Um, He was uncomfortable with that. Guess where she was going? To fucking JK News. So what? If Bart. we're going to Cannes or some Bart. shit, wear whatever Bart. you want. Are you kidding me? We're uh, going to some what? regular do ass. Do you hate views, Bart? Do you hate money? Do you hate clicks? It's like me oh. wearing a tuxedo to JK News. Don't what? let me wear that to JK News. Wait, that doesn't help with clicks or views? Yeah, that doesn't help at all. You you tits would I'm help. Tits what are you talking help? About? I'm not talking about the tits. I'm just talking about how elevated it is. We're going. That's that's not what you said, though. Weekly. What did he say? That's what did you say? say? He's like, that's supposed to be for me. Yeah, for that now. That was so mind blowing. For now. I was like, since when do you say yeah, that? Yeah, but if we're if we're gonna go and show you off at the can, you can wear anything what do you, you want. Maybe show me off. That's what you're trying to do. No, I'm just trying to wear what the fuck I want to wear. She just wanted to wear what the fuck she, she wanted to, to wear. Have, she just wants to have them out. Gio, next week, you better. I'm bringing them out. You have to bring yeah, it. So that's I'm surprised that he was so like, like, oh, what's wrong with that? When I wanted to wear that mesh shirt. So that's, I'm just trying to. To JK that. News, to JK oh, Party. Shit. You want to sully the good name of JK News and JK Party. <laughs> no, it's because it's because like she's trying to wear that to like a Nickelodeon show. I'm like, that's that's the wrong thing. Oh, we own what? Nickelodeon shows? We are Nickelodeon here? I'm fascinated. Oh, like, like Nickelodeon is a very everyday type of show. JK Party. But it's for kids. Very... It was news. Okay, that's not how I'm viewing it. How I'm viewing it is just this JK Don't News. Help me JK out. Party is a very everyday. I get what he's saying. Common that's why person help me out. Type you want her to wear t-shirts only. That's, no, what, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't wear a tuxedo to JK News. Like, but she wears button. really nice clothes that she could wear out. To but go... it's still very everyday. Did you scream at her down the hallway like, put him away, please? No. Don't go to JK News like this. Please put him What's away. That? No. That's a question. So you know how before when. Bart would expose a lot about your relationship and you're just like, dude, keep that to us. Like, mm -hmm. is this the very first time he ever said anything like that yeah. for me? Yeah. That's pretty surprising. Yeah. Is that bad or good? I don't think it's bad or good, but. Yeah, but that, that's why I'm, I'm trying to understand your mind with that being No, because okay. that, is, like if you had a diamond necklace and you're going to start wearing a JK News, I'm like, why are you doing that? Wear it for the cans. Hmm? Wear it for the cans. So basically, film. So, so what I'm getting is his vocabulary is elegant and classy. Can also be a little bit sexy too. Yeah. Yes. Is what I'm but hearing. Every day can't be sexy. No, but what are you saying that the branding with JK News makes him uncomfortable because in his head, Gio's dressing way too sexy for JK News. Yeah. Like, if it was yeah. as the feels, I think it would be different. Yes. yes. Okay. If you're if you're old Gina. How do you get? Do you this? feel like you're gonna look ugly? Because you gotta there? listen to the to to the words that he's using and how. He He's tying it and how it how he evolved. But the thing that but they hold it up all the time on JK News. Am what? I am I alone here? Well, no, no, you gotta you gotta try to understand to agree, right? That's yeah. the that's the issue here. Is like you you you're immediately going that doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So the thing is. If Thank he you, sees this as, hey, he's using the words classy and elegant yeah. and But then he things. said, those are from, that's for me. Those are for my eyes only. Well, that's a different thing because that's a combination of feelings. Oh, I right? see. Yeah, yeah, so, it's two so feelings right here, put together. If all of us aren't using those, those words, then definitely he has a different emotional attachment to those words. Yeah. So you gotta figure out how he's tying those words to how he feels. Because those are for me. So for me, I'm like, if we're just gonna go to 7-Eleven, why are you gonna bust your titties out? I see. That's what I'm talking about. Like, JK News, JK Party is a very everyday thing. Okay. But I if you wanna you. bust your titties out at a world stage, Shalm down. do it. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Let's fucking do it. Cool. All right, well, like, uh... Cause you're gonna you gotta wait for the world Tarantino stage. You know, on a world stage, just show them your fucking titties. This is the time to shine. It makes perfect sense now, thank you. <laughs> really, you get this it? One. So this woman, she was left for hours. <laughs> After a her 90 minute flight landed, she was left for hours inside the oh. plane. Alone. Oh, the Air Canada bitch? Yeah. 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 Oh. Bitch. <laughs> I hate her guts. Why? <laughs> so I read the article, and then she was just, the whole time she was talking about how anxious she was like, oh my god, I woke up on a dark plane. What am I gonna do? I looked down, it was 50 feet. Oh, I can't jump. That sounds scary as fuck. That is so scary. But the, the way it sounds. Your ass is afraid of heights. How dare you yeah. call her a bitch? No, no, but the way she sounds, there's so much. <laughs> Extra anxiety that she put. She has an anxiety on. disorder. Dude, Bart, you now she does. <laughs> conveniently. You read the article. No, no, no. What? Conveniently. And you that part. could take any story and run it through your bullshit yeah, filter. So she said she texted her friend and she wrote, I just woke up alone in plane. 
But then after sending that one text, her phone died. She should right. have thought it fucking smarter. Yeah. Like help. It only had enough battery for one text, <laughs> right. Airplane mode too. Yeah. Yeah, so she said that, well, she was trying to call her friend through FaceTime and that's when her phone died. And then uh, she tried plugging in her phone to a USB port, but it didn't work because uh -huh. the plane was off. Yeah, you gotta turn the key on the ignition. So then she went to the cockpit. <laughs> she went to the cockpit and she found walkie talkies but she was unsuccessfully able to operate it. Walkie talkies? Walkie talk, it says found walkie talkies. Wait, why, what does that matter for you if it's plural? Because if she has both of them, duh, the other receiver's <laughs> right here. She could have both of them. Ah, no, I thought she was talking to herself. Yeah. Anybody hear me? Yeah. She hears herself on the other side. <laughs> hello, 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 matey, matey, matey. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Uh, Google Maps led people to a dirt road that ended up getting everyone stuck there because it, it had been raining previously and it was just a very bad road to be on and people are blaming Google Maps for leading them down this road. That many cars got there? Yeah, Yo. it was like a three and a half hour pile up pretty much. Whoa. Yeah. It needed them like off the road? <laughs> ways. Ways, ways really don't give a fuck. First shit is when I'm navigating for my wife. So like my wife's driving, and then I'm next to her, and I got the phone out, and then she's like, where do I go now? And I'm like, it, it won't tell me yet, because we are we haven't driven on the target yeah, yet. Yeah. It, then then it updates it. And she's like, but she in the moment is like, where do I go, where do I go, where do I go? And I'm like, it, it doesn't fucking say! That's such an important <laughs> position to be in. Like, when you're the navigator, that is like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, because if you miss it, you can like uh, switch apps and be on Instagram, and you miss that. <laughs> oh man, dude! If if my brother or somebody, my family, I have a family group text fucking from hell where everyone <laughs> <laughs> six thousand messages a day in it. Yeah. So yeah, if, if like I'm navigating for Nikki and then she looks over and she sees like something pops up on my screen and she's like, "You're not doing this. You're fucking. What are you doing? I don't even know what you're doing." And I'm like, yeah. oh, I, was, "I just got a text from somebody. Oh no!" <laughs> but doesn't Google Maps show you if there's traffic? So yeah. There yeah. should have been like fucking know. dead red. Like, don't go this yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it didn't didn't update fast enough. I blame humans. You can look and see That's that the exactly road what is wet. Most people are saying they're just like, use your best decision, like decision making skills. You know, you can see that there's a up. pile up over there. It's yeah. Not just that, but like the people causing the pile up. You could see that the road is not very safe for you to drive on with your like sedan. You know. There was a couple in the car that one person was like, we shouldn't be on this road. It's like, it's what is telling me. And then that when they finally, yeah, yeah, it's too late. Look, look. Look, now, like, it was yeah. the biggest I told you shit. They're, they're the most smug guy in traffic ever. He's like, he's just sitting there, <laughs> we're stuck. Yeah, I told y'all. I told you. I told you. <laughs> I love that, But man. some of those roads, too, it's hard to tell, because, like, you, it might start dry and flat, and then when you get in, you're like, fuck! Yeah. That's true, dude, too. sometimes I'm like, I'm like, dude, like, if I get it, if, we, if I tell Nikki, I'm like, hey, you keep doing this, like, stop breaking so close to somebody's bumper. And then I'm like, oh, I hope we get an accident so that I can turn over. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my God, the pettiest Pettiness. moments happen in a relationship where you're getting a car accident, yeah. we're flipping and rolling, you're just looking at it like, I told you. You're going upside down? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that shit does not like matter. Some inception slow mo yeah. shit. Yeah. I told you. <laughs> Dude, you're in the hospital bed, and the doctor's like, he'll never be able to use his legs again. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Yeah. I don't know which class it was, but my one of my teachers was uh, it was psycho it was psychology before, before I forgot what, but it was we were talking about the difference in sexuality between male and female and how we uh, our experiences are definitely different, right? Because of how we raise and how we look at things and just our biology. But she was saying like women tend to be more closer to the bi spectrum because what turns them on is very different from like guys can, we're simpleton. We're very rigid. Yeah. It's a yes we or no. We can even see a guy in a yoga pants and if they look like a girl, we'll get hard. My yeah. theory about that is that you like the essence of whatever porn you're watching. So if you're watching lesbian porn and like uh, they're really romantic or they're softly, it's like very soft and caressing. No, that's it. How is it when you when you, you know? It? I say I watch lesbian porn, but then I realize it's not really even that. Like I just like watching a girl masturbate on her own just to watch it. Like, I don't even masturbate while I'm watching it, but then that turns me on and then I get to town on myself. I put that shit away and then I like it. Maybe because that liberated person that's having that intimate moment with themselves 
is like, it's like you can see yourself doing that. Yeah, you're unlocking mm -hmm. yeah. what your repressed sexual feelings yeah. by yeah. watching this yeah. person. Yeah, the repressed. Because I don't watch a guy jack off and go, "Fuck, it, I'm gonna do that later." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm you know like, where do I stand yeah. on that? Yeah. I don't know. Cause but it's what? weird, like where I, I, I feel like, like I said, like guys experience and watch porn differently from women. Well, the first porn I watched was guy gay porn because I like I had tried having sex before and it hurt so much that the thought mm. of dicks going like rapidly going into a vagina was like fucking traumatizing. Mm. So, but I could watch two guys do it because it still had the dominance thing, mm. but it wasn't like I was getting hurt at all. You know what? That's probably what it is. So when you watch porn, watch right? Two guys. Yeah. Well, well I can't it, it looks like two anymore. buffaloes fucking, right? When you watch two guys. But then if so you this was like the first experience I had. But yeah. but but if you, if okay, so like, if you watch porn, you know it's not for the female because you look at it and you're like that doesn't feel good no that's not true so then i watched gangbang porn now mm -hmm. um, and i watched the girl because i like to see her getting completely utterly dominated but oh. i would not like to be gangbangs mm. i just like the dominance see? feeling in there that she's completely getting dominated I and i like to watch guys fuck other guys while i sit there <laughs> and i i steal my fucking nerves and i watch it and and if i don't get a boner then i won <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I'm like, I fucking win again. And I'm, like, <laughs> and I'm like 100 for 100 on this show. I only win. Yeah, I don't know. I can't even explain it because, yeah, like, I think the experience is completely just different. Dude, one time I was doing my experiment where I watched dudes fuck, and then I got, I got a little bit hard, but then I talked myself out of it. Shut up. That's how good I am at this shit. <laughs> you work so hard at it. I'm good at it. Nice. I even watched. I barely get harder during that. I thought I was watching lesbian porn, and then the girl goes down, like they're kissing, and then the girl goes down, and then she starts sucking the lady's dick. <laughs> Might as well. One of my, one of my favorite uh, jokes. So you're like, today well. I'm a girl. My, girl. my dick's a girl talking. Dude, one of my favorite Joe stories is he's watching uh, a gangbang thing, right? And then all of a sudden, he says, that, he says that a guy turns his head, and then another guy shoves his dick into the guy's mouth while they're fucking the girl. And then Joe's like, oh! oh. I could have might as well for that one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just, it was like, it was like a threesome, right? And then the guy's like, hell yeah! And then they're doing it, and then the guy goes, oh yeah! And then he comes up and he grabs his buddy's dick and starts sucking it. And I was like, I didn't sign up for I this. Wouldn't, I wouldn't have liked that either. I didn't sign up. I just up. always imagined. This guy sitting in his room below with a blue glow on his face, yeah. and then he's just sitting there and he's like, Yeah, yeah, and then he's like, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. Yep, I love it. I didn't sign up for this shit. Nope. <laughs> a disgusting trend of people licking ice cream in grocery stores has gone too far. I've been watching this shit. Oh, fucking it's stupid. stupid. It's stupid. It's crazy stupid. I'm so glad because one of them is going to jail. The lowest yeah. IQ shit I've ever seen. What are you allowed to do? So if you can't lick ice cream, are you allowed to slap a watermelon at the supermarket? <laughs> of course you can. That's the only way you know if it's good. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. You, you don't hear? slap it's it. It's not abuse. Yeah. <laughs> you don't bite your, your lower lip and slap it to see if it's good? Yeah, it's a little look. <laughs> no, don't do it like that. That's illegal. Oh, is it? Oh, you do it creepy. Yeah, that's illegal. <laughs> what about the ice cream? What if you like gently rub? You just got to give it like a, yeah. But what if they're licking it to see if the ice cream is right? I actually. I never if, talked to one. Somebody. I don't know if that's if they should ban the watermelon slapping or. They'll 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 eat samples. You know, like you take a cherry and you eat one. Oh. Well, women can slap it, but men can't yeah, slap it. it. And just make eye contact. Look like, like a random stranger. You get a watermelon. You go. <laughs> Bam. That's tough. And then you gotta rub it too. <laughs> that's a viral craze. <laughs> you have to lick these two fingers off. <laughs> No, you can't lick your fingers and do it. That's fucked up. Stop telling me what to That's do. <laughs> She's gonna try more. Remove it's it. wrong. Remove. No, we gotta tell all the kids that's wrong. The queen has spoken. You're removed. <laughs> Remove. Silence, peasant. I'm gonna do a Silence. social experiment video we'll where, where like you, you you lock eyes with someone and, like, and then they're like, what the fuck? But then they're like, oh, you're just checking the watermelon. By the way, watermelon's on sale right now because it's season three bucks or five bucks per watermelon. Thanks, Dad. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Get ready for it. That's I just stay a brother, Dad. Three dollars for a watermelon, baby. I don't even know how to pick a good anything. <laughs> even just like even peaches. You pick a good, you oh, pick a good partner. Oh, fine. I was, I was actually about to say that. Yeah. Because yeah. no, even like peaches, I'm just like. 
Mm -hmm. You know what this just guy did I see once? People do that. So I let him buy produce. He brought an entire fucking rotten cabbage. Oh like, no! Don't you look at what the fuck you just picked? Like it was all brown and rotten. On like, the back I, of it. <laughs> just like, I'm like, so you did do that. <laughs> Nikki sent me to the store to buy her sandwich bags. Okay. And, oh, that's hard. And, it was a lot. And, oh god, my heart broke the other day because I saw her packing a sandwich into a. A Ziploc bag that was bigger than her body. Four? <laughs> it's like the two gallons. Like this fucking <laughs> because my stupid dumb fucking ass. You got I something like this? Deal. <laughs> <laughs> it's big, no, Bart, it's twenty cents. It's this one gallon. It's fucking this Wait, big. Dude. That was cheaper than a regular sandwich. Bag. <laughs> yeah, dude. What? I got a fucking oh deal. God. I found a deal and I was like, dude, this shit is fucking tight. Like, like this. <laughs> you get two of these, two of these boxes for oh five bucks. God. Whereas well, one of the two of these sandwich bag things, it's a small bag yeah. and it's more money. So I thought I was fucking dunking on the backboard. But on you probably shit. didn't count how many bags. <laughs> Sandwich. <laughs> She's sticking a fucking sandwich in there, and then I'm like, "What the fuck are you doing? This is the biggest fucking bag I've ever seen in my life." And she's like, "I you sent fuck. you to get sandwich bags, and this is what you came back with." And I was like, "Oh my god, it's me. I'm the problem." And That's then, funny. and then she's like, and then she's like, and I also said you get sandwich bags another time, and you bought sandwich bags that fold over so they don't ziplock at the top. Oh no! That is the deal, though. That is the cheapest. That, <laughs> that was the deal. Well, it's her fault because she sent you twice. You no, fucked. It's you my fault. Oh. It's my fault. It's your fault because I didn't get it either time. I got the deal both times. Well, the first and one is actually a sandwich bag. That's a that's a little sandwich bag. The one that doesn't zip. They should have a warning on the box that says that. <laughs> I didn't fucking know. They should have a person standing there so you can measure like how big the size when, is. Dude, when you see warnings on boxes, they're for idiots like me who don't fucking know and they just read the deal. It's like, don't consume this shampoo. Exactly. For her story, this wife from India, she had been looking for her husband <laughs> and her, the father of her two children since 2016. She's a real bitch. <laughs> Scared him away. Uh oh. <laughs> what if he got lost? The second part helped the first part. What if he got lost? <laughs> what if it was a really sad story? I know. It's when the, there's a mean girl. Well, I hate to say this, but Bart is right. Oh, oh shit! I knew it. He was running away. I know <laughs> wives. So crazy. I fucking sorry, know I wives, and wives are horrible. I apologize. Not you. <laughs> they saved. I'm all smiling. I didn't even catch that until he said sorry. The wife species is very bitch-like. You know <laughs> bitch-like qualities, yeah. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> yeah. You have to get to the root of why, though. It's oh. the husband's fault, because they're so can stupid. You, can you go back to the arm? You're the disease. <laughs> I just got to say this. Did he? Did Bart tell you that he hit a car? With. No, he did not. Yeah, can you please explain how you hit this car? And then you'll we see why we stuff. become bitches. When did this have articles in 20 minutes? I think everyone wants to know. No. I want to know. <laughs> I veto. I veto. No. Okay. Open another tab. Open off the record. We'll talk about that. Okay, good. Finish this one first. I'm not going right. to forget. So, yeah, he ended up leaving his wife and kids. And he was found because a family member of the wife was looking on TikTok and saw that was, this fool was on TikTok. That fool's dancing? Yeah. I just picture like, goom, 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 goom. I picture that one Indian guy that does all the hip hop shit with the oh, gold he's chain. Amazing. Oh, he's amazing. Just soul. Yeah. Oh, the one that we, we had the photo? Oh, no, 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 another one. No, he looks like him though, but yeah. No I thought all Indian moms were sluts when I was a kid. What? Why? <laughs> but now you know that they're not, right? Well, those are like, so like, so, <laughs> my best friend, because I grew up on my street, uh, they all show their bellies. You know, like when they wear like a oh. traditional dress? Yeah, the socks. Like, the mom's like this, the grandma's like this, the daughter's like this, they're all like this. And I'm like, damn, this is a sexy ass Indian family. And <laughs> I so I was just like, they like really want to get it on all the time. Wow. Bart sees a pregnant lady with her shirt coming out of her belly and he's like, what a fucking slut. <laughs> a lot, you'll see like a lot of them, the traditional wear, it's like this. Geo's face right now. 50 or 20. Can I go to that side? <laughs> Were you in Welcome. Come, come, join. Join. Come, join. come join. Come join. Right here. Come join. <laughs> Where are you going? She I'm left. not. I don't want anything. They're a part of the boring world. You guys didn't have an Indian best friend. You don't know what I'm talking about. Wait, how old were you? Probably like nine or ten. I'm like, damn, this you is a freaky family. Better. You should have known better. What? <laughs> He's a little kid. Okay, excuse me. He's a little kid. <laughs> 
<laughs> go over there. Thank you, Steve. Listen, he's cultured. When you're a kid, we're on the you same think, side. You think all sorts of weird shit. I used to think that um, people who spoke another language just couldn't speak clearly. And I, and I was like, what's wrong with them? Why can't they just talk regularly? Like, is their tongue all twisted up or some shit? Yeah. Like, I didn't know, because I'm a stupid kid. I thought people that stuttered, uh, no, not stuttered, oh, what's no. the what's the word? When people that go like, Stutter, stutter? I stutter. I thought they all did it on purpose. I, I thought that kids- I actually in... did. I had that same thought, because my little cousin, she would do it on purpose. Uh, for I fun? For attention? Fun. Yeah. She needs desperate for attention. I know, poor girl. She, I she, did, that, she needed love. I thought that kids in wheelchairs were lucky because they got to sit down all day. I thought that shit. I was like, eight. <laughs> I was like, that's so cool. My, my aunt told me that when she first encountered white people, she literally thought they were going. No, she talk. <laughs> She's like, and she would try to copy them. That's my mindset. When I was yeah. a kid, I remember thinking exactly that shit. I'm gonna slowly remove yeah. myself. <laughs> and I asked my mom that. All right. Well, I hate to do this because this is a hilarious oh, conversation. No, I want to stay on the offensive side. <laughs> oh, we got you guys are Moving on to the next story. It's not offensive if children Model think it. who was unhappy with her mugshot offered a more flattering selfie to police. That's that's pretty funny. No, it's funny how your brain changed there to her. Oh, yeah, <laughs> there. Because it's oh, not, it's a guy. It's a guy. Shit. <laughs> yeah, well, it looks like you know her is in the word there. There. Yeah. yeah. In there. But yeah, it's like actually a guy. Damn. Model. That's how vain this wow. motherfucker is. Yeah. Is he, he better be hot. Let me see. Yep. He's Same as Nikki. I can't see. Brand. He's got to keep keep to his brand. So this guy's name is Stephen Murphy, or Stephen. I don't know. Thirty-three years old, from. The UK. This was the mugshot that the police oh. posted. What the fuck? There's no other fucking angle, bro. <laughs> bro, your face is fucked. Maybe he's on bath salts and he's like, nah, I'm a model. I'm Give hot. me a <laughs> I'm hot. I'm fucking hot. Hold, hold, hold. Wow. Wow. This is insanely An Apache. And he posted this. Oh, what? Bro. Would you like bro. to read it? Wait, bro. he turned into a Puerto Rican man? <laughs> and if you get my name right and don't put the worst picture of me on these, not when I've been up for three days, then in Boston, cop shop for two, you might be how to find me post this better for you. What did he say? Bath salts, bath salts, salt for sure. What did he say? This is the mugshot that he, I That's mean the headshot. Funny. He does look better looking on the right New though. New tattoo and Beckham heat your heart out. What? This guy doesn't know how to read or write, I think. He doesn't. He really doesn't. He says, heat your heart out. Oh, my God. <laughs> is he foreign? Um, I hope he's, like, Russian and he's barely learning English. That's a good question. I think he needs Rosetta Stone for English. Yeah. He plays too much rugby. <laughs> Rosetta Stone for English. Yeah, for his native tongue is what he needs, that shit. And then this one. Oh, Step God, up if you, you dear. dear. <laughs> this guy's a fucking moron. Yeah. Oh, my God. This guy's dare. a legend, oh. dude. <laughs> Step up if you dare. I take it all back. You should just go into meme creation. Oh, this guy's a fucking Damn. legend. I love him. He's so I stupid. Did. This guy's fucking dumb as <laughs> oh This guy's next level, dude. Oh, I didn't start making my Instagram like this. I love that he got emotional over them putting a bad picture of him up. Yeah. He's like, maybe if this one, instead of when I've been up for three days, came okay, in, like, we can't all look good after yeah. three days of being <laughs> That's way too coherent for him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Is that not, yeah. That's not me. We could have got been up three days there in the cop shop to it. Don't talk to me. Exactly. He doesn't know what and or the is. <laughs> I'm more handsomer than this guy. <laughs> he learned English without the conjugation. I thought it was funny that he had a Hulk mask and he thinks that's scary. Like, step yeah. up <laughs> if you dare. <Yeah. laughs> that's funny. <laughs> It's a Hulk mask with a stupid Like he's fucking yeah. eight years old that took steroids or something. Yeah. And the caution tape is amazing. If he came into my room looking like that in the dark, I'd be pretty fucking scared. Someone with a cartoon mask on? Yeah. I'm like, this guy's a fucking idiot. Anyone so with dumb. a mask, I'm scared. No, but, but if you had a ski mask. It's like a toddler. Yeah, if you had a ski mask, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> But any guy that has like face paint, I just can't take them seriously. Yeah, but what if he's doing this and he's like, um, get you coming. <laughs> that was a wait, what? Damn, I, I probably won't be scared anymore. Step up if you dear. <laughs> maybe he has a oh, Boston accent. Shit. Step up if you dear. Oh, yeah. He's British. He's from Boston. Maybe well, no, gone. yeah, he's a British Boston. He's British, oh. yeah. Maybe he's the only Boston. Why? He should know English. Yeah, British people are supposed to be smarter. <laughs> 
He's British? They have cool yeah, accents! Yeah, like Boston from England or some yeah. shit. There's a city, I guess, Mr. Boston. That's Maybe wild. that's how they spell to help you, dude. dare. You know how they spell color with a U? Yeah. Maybe that's yeah. how they spell Maybe dare. Maybe that's why he's all confused, because he's from England or yeah, wherever. His mind has both. And then accents. everyone's be like, but pack the car, and then he's yeah, like, yeah. oh, I don't know how to speak now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, he's dumb. Yeah, 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 because he's from, yeah, Lincolnshire Police. Yeah, that's in England. Okay, oh. yeah, I'm not fucking up. All right. Well, how come he's not saying jolly good or nothing like that? <laughs> oh, cheerio. But, good morning. But jolly good, guys, sir. <laughs> submitted by Jamalian Durian. Durian, I love oh. your name. Rich families legally separated from their kids in newly discovered ways. They've milked the college system. Oh, that's genius. Oh. That's genius. So then they could qualify for financial yes. aid. Yes. Is that what that is? Exactly. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Damn, so that's Could you can not divorce your parents or emancipate yourself? <laughs> no, no, no. I think they get rid of their kids and put them somewhere but else. the way that these rich people are doing it now, uh, apparently this has been linked to this place called Destination College, which offers private counseling. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you okay? Sorry, the fucking bee just flew like right in my ear. That's how you react to a fly? <laughs> fly, whatever the fuck it was. It like was right there. And you just oh, told crazy. us you get seizures and shit. They were having a seizure. I did too. I literally felt that like I've been having trouble breathing, but that, that fucking thing is out for me. Dude, I thought you were about to go back in time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like, oh, like fucking. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And I'm holding shit out of me. I thought your chair gave out. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay. Well. I thought she got knocked out of like, something. Like an actual like punch. Uh, it, yeah, that's just. The fly girl, like what? It was right in my ear. That was kind of yeah, cool, actually. Scary. That was right because you know it was loud. Uh, Whatever. I'm. So you scared. have ninja-like reflexes. You know what's oh. fucked up? Tip never gets the floor when where she's not interrupted, and finally everyone was yeah, quiet. Smooth. You know, every time consistently, even on the Hey Bitch podcast, as soon as I get the floor, some shit happens, and I get interrupted no matter what. The universe that, doesn't want you to say what you have to say. That fly has been with us since we did the Patreon mukbang. Look They're forward to it. Would you Mark, gotta check it out? We have a Patreon. So go check it out. That's Dude, what? I don't think I would have gone as scared if you didn't physically touch I'm me. I'm sorry. But that physical touch, I'm like, what's happening? I didn't know what it was. It I wanted to be out. out. Back. So I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry. It's okay. No, are you okay, though? I'm, I'm okay. okay. I'm scared okay. for you because of the seizure. It's just a fly. Dude, what if it was a bee? Jesus Christ. Well, it sounded like one in my ear. I didn't know the difference. Would you have stripped naked and fucking ran through a wall? No, it's too much work. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know what she closed. did. What'd she do? I just uh, felt it. You'll see it in the video later. <laughs> me this video guys I want to see what happened anyway what was I saying what was I in the middle of we're talking about what it's been linked to so you you uh, named a destination college yeah. who yeah they offer private counseling um yeah thank you and uh, <laughs> trying to help parents and helping their the kids get into college man hasn't shit. spoken to his family in years because he can't stand the sound of their chewing fuck yeah, I can relate I to this shit me too girl I oh, can relate my sister used to chew weird weird with a weird chew Used to? Oh. Yeah. What happened? She sounds like a horse. Nah. Your mom never corrected that? Your mom was like, fuck it. Oh, that's I nice. Imagine having having a, is it a disorder? What do they call it? Condition? A condition where like, you just hear sounds and it just immediately pisses you off. Like I can, crazy. I, what does it, I can relate to him. It doesn't piss me off. Yeah. It's just repetition a lot. That, yeah. That'll bother me. Me or, too. Does it enrage uh -huh. you? Uh, you want to punch a TV. Radio jingle. It can bro. turn. I, I think the frustration can turn into rage because you can't run away yeah. from it. Oh. Yeah. Like it's it's like um like something that smells bad for me. Yeah. Like if I smell it and I can't get away from it, that's it starts with, making me angry. That's me with farts. Mm -hmm. I'm like don't fart. The sound of it or the smell Hell. of it. No, no, I could hear it all day. I don't care. But like if you're in another room and you're farting and I can't smell it, cool, have fun. Yeah. But if I smell it. That's when I'm like... You're just like, how did this get here? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. I think yeah. that's a lot of people that doesn't like farts. Jill's the opposite. She doesn't mind uh, smelling it, she just want to hear it. Oh. Like the silent but deadly oh. I don't care about. I don't care about sounds when it comes to all that stuff, except for chewing. Chewing sounds will drive me fucking crazy. I see. I can't. So cases in all that. kinds of chewing. You don't have likes and dislikes of chewing sounds. Never is there a like for a chewing. Dude, is, is, if Casey's in, you're telling me if Casey's in the bathroom and he's like, oh, God, oh, God damn, and then you're, what the way? <laughs> you're just sitting there reading the magazine. And you're like, okay, yeah. But if yeah. Casey chewing some food, no. he's like, fuck. 
fucking Casey. Fuck yeah. Oh, wow. yes. Do you get angry at your own mouth for chewing when you hear it? I don't have, have my mouth heard? open. No, but I'm just saying, like, because you know how you could hear yourself chew sometimes no, when you're closing your mouth and you're like, dude, what are you? What is, oh, what the, why the fuck did you chew right now? <laughs> dude. What if Casey takes a shit so hard? He takes a shit so hard, right? Oh my god. And he's like, oh! <laughs> Okay, you use my legs. That's good. What does that have to do with sounds? Okay, you're fine with that? Why would I care? Okay. Bart's literally came out of the bathroom like that before. Because he sat too long? Yeah, and his leg, both of his legs fall asleep. <laughs> Toy Maker Hasbro now owns the rap label Death Row Records as a part what? of $4 billion acquisition. No, what do you mean? Wait, 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 who what? owns, who owns the Hasbro? The Hasbro, Hasbro? The toy company. The toy now owns Death, owns Death Row. Row Records. That's so fucking weird. This is Hasbro's logo. Why? Pero like. And then this is Death Row. Oh. That's weird. Wait, did, they, did they acquire yeah, it? it? For four billion dollars, yes, or did they that. buy a conglomerate that owned it? Yeah, sure. She's old now. Okay, so they bought a conglomerate that owned Death Records. Okay. That is the funniest shit. But they're like, well, might as well fuck with it. Let's go make some action figures of Tupac. Tupac. Right, but like you could totally, you can always turn it into something. Always. Yeah. I want to see them turn Death Row into family. They can do a cartoon yeah. parody um, there's, characters. Of there's the, kids in the hood who listen to that who would love their action figures. Yeah. They like, could even have do like. Do kids still play with action figures? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think they have iPads, but kids in the hood can afford iPads. <sighs> true, true, true. That welfare still is good, good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know. Hit me I, up for marketing, though. I know because I always wanted to do a yard sale because I'm like, oh, these these the kids in my neighborhood are poor, like me. So everyone uh, needs toys at a cheap. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna just slang my toys, and nobody bought it because everyone was on welfare and they had money. No, <laughs> <laughs> no my family wasn't on welfare, but I was on welfare with like Isaac. You when you have oh. me and Isaac were on welfare for a little bit, um, and it was like the most struggling times of my life as like a single mother, like yeah. trying to like make a living and trying to go to school and make sure it, it was hard. But that's why I ended up having to resort to welfare. And I made sure I was living within my means. And I would go to the social security office uh, cause I had to meet with my caseworker. And I would see ladies in there with like fucking Gucci bags. I'm not on welfare. With nails like this. Bitch, damn. I'm not a wife. <laughs> Makeup I, like this. I fucking pay for yeah. this shit. What the fuck? <laughs> I work fucking hard. Keep watching my she ass, does. bitch. What she does. Mean? But I'm saying, like, those women that would go in there. And she it means well, Stacey. She means well. She means well. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. She's all over here. I'm all hot. <laughs> Bitch, they're gonna come. She pulls a picture of you and well, the welfare bill. I know. She like Listen. breaks it out. What is welfare? Like a card? <laughs> She's like, here, give me your wallet, Stacy. People do some fucked up shit for money, but yeah. So. And that's why it's like people. You you know. I work hard. She works hard, bitch. You don't I hard. came from Mexico and I work hard. Just fucking she hard. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Bitch, I'm gonna end up on Tiff the Rose videos. Let's find out. <laughs> Those shits came up on my recommended, and what? I was like, oh, no. You have, like, a whole 20-minute video. What? Yeah. That's how fucked up James you Rodolfo. are. James Rodolfo. Shout, Shout out. out. I don't know who Damn. he is, but now, fuck, now I'm going to make it to one of your videos. I'm sorry. You are a very <laughs> good roaster. Everyone, this, this, this day today, she roasted every single guest. Uh, I did? Anthony, too. Tell roast. That's I fucking did. dope. I was pokey. I like that. I don't know. I was cool with it. Tell Tiftel Rose. You know they call it that online? Oh, heart. It comes from the yeah. heart. <laughs> Bitch, I don't know. I look like I'm on welfare. No, what the does. fuck? She but you got the welfare look according to Tiftel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's racist. No, 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 no. That is racist. I'm the Mexican here. What the but fuck? But you have the rich yeah, welfare yeah. look. <laughs> like I got eight kids or what? What the fuck does that mean? Tiff. I don't know. You're like the queen of welfare. Not the, not the bottom one. one. She was the peasant of welfare. How can I dig myself out? You can't because you kept digging even harder. Because you're like, she just looks like it, but she's not. <laughs> okay, it's just like she literally has a Gucci purse here, and it was just a good prop. Okay, you want me and to she help doesn't you? really have the long nails. You want me to help you? Own it, Tiff. Own it. Own it. Own it. Own it. Just say you fucked up. Leave it at that. <laughs> you, you want you want the easiest way no. where I can help you? Okay. Say I'm sorry. She's just saying that someone that looks like you with all this money and nice things and whatever should not be on welfare. No, I agree. I agree. That's all it is. Yeah. And it's a compliment to you actually because they're trying to. Because you don't look you like you're on welfare. By 
doing it by gaming the system. Okay, so put yeah, that yeah. in the Tiff the Rose video too. <laughs> Please, make, don't fucking just dig me down there. Like, I wouldn't be spending all that money if I was on welfare. Hell no. No, like I would even buy money on like a purse or whatever. A happily like, exhausted cat had to get a glucose IV drip after mating with five females <laughs> in one night. What a pimp ass cat. So wait, glucose like gives, oh, for energy. Yeah, like a nutrition type drip, something for energy. Wait, so you're saying that if like- He's fucking exhausted is what they're saying. But I'm saying for us, applicably, yeah. if we ever get exhausted- <laughs> He's trying to figure out how he could replenish his you're fucking fuck drive. Three more rounds if I'm like, <laughs> Glucose, yeah, we're yeah, good sure. again. Just make it easier on yourself. Take an energy drink. Well, anyway, yeah. this owner said my fucking cat is exhausted and on a glucose drip, and this is my fault because the the employees at the pet hotel said that like they were upset with the owner and saying that the owner had to explain the situation to all the fuck owners. that. When this owner's like, what the fuck? You're the one that let yeah, my absolutely. cat out. And I told you he wasn't neutered. Eventually, the pet hotel apologized and offered to pay for the fluid therapy and then said that they were going to compensate each pregnant cat's owner <laughs> if they end up being pregnant and then he hey what happened we could hear it <laughs> that sounds like porn <laughs> That was cam girl porn for sure. I know the intro. Da, 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 right? da, 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 da. What is it? Stuck my thumb in? I don't know. I'm sticking my thumb up there. He had headphones on, but I don't think it was plugged in. <laughs> He's like, wow, it sounds very different. <laughs> We're good. Ryan. Love that. You Japanese pervert. So the pet hotel said that they were going to compensate each pregnant cat's owner. Uh, I heard compensate. Mm. Compensate. <laughs> Is this normal? Like, do cat, are, are cats this horny? I heard cats fucking a lot when I lived in this uh, apartment. In the complex. hood? Yeah. They, I thought they were fighting all the time. Right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like that's, that's the sound that they make. <laughs> that's what it's That was really <laughs> accurate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get loud. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I thought they were just like having fucking cat fights, you know, like fucking at night. It's like, yeah. ha, ha, cat. When I lived in Escondido, I used to hear those noises and I thought it was cats fucking, but I found out that it was just coyotes ripping cats apart. Whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. I've heard of that. You coyotes sound crazy too, they sound man. Fucking nuts. When they travel in their pack yeah. and shit, it's not like they're always killing some shit. Yeah, because we live right by the mountain. Do you hear them? What do they sound like? like? Oh, dude, they're then. It's... It sounds like, imagine two little dogs fighting each other and like to the death. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. But when they're together and they're hunting and they're, or they just gotta kill, it's like pretty nuts. They start yeah. howling and shit. Yeah. Okay, I gotta stop making these noises. It's just a wolf. It's a full-on wolf. Yeah, but they're like screechy, like high pitch. It's not like like a bassy growl or anything. Yeah, like wolf sounds like a, like a like, alpha yeah. animal in the, the forest. Yeah. The the coyotes, they sound like the scoundrels. Yeah, they say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the hyenas of the dogs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, like they're selling used cars in the fucking woods. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gio, what does the fish say? <laughs> That's really good. Once again, <laughs> keep delivering. <laughs> what is this? Because she keeps nailing each awesome. animal sound. Oh, uh, <laughs> how do you not know this? <laughs> I, she I, has been drilling them I, I, from I, top of the key. Have I not impressed you? <laughs> give me another. Give me another one. All right, um, mongoose. Oh, uh, bro, fuck, you got me. Meerkat. They, do they make noise? Yeah, Hey! Oh, I was. I saw the impr yeah, the impression. Your face is funny. Okay, I'm done. You about shot. We do a lot of animal watching. Yeah. Out where we live. Aren't you happy? You subscribe. Hippopotamus. You happy. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Platypus. Platypus. The platypus says, "Let me die." What? <laughs> Have you ever looked at one of those fuckers? <laughs> no. What the? Fuck? I want a manatee for a pet. We're not even talking about what you want for pets, bro. I know, but I just want one now. Um, <laughs> people really don't like Peloton's new holiday ad. Oh, sorry. I saw this shit too. Yes. I already like this ad. You haven't no. seen it? I haven't seen it. Perfect. I haven't yeah. seen it yet either. I haven't seen it. I endorse it fully. <laughs> you endorse the ad? Fully. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you endorse the people? No, the the ad has my full endorsement. Endorsement, ringing endorsement. Well, you haven't seen it? Peloton's an ex is expensive bike, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. actually known for being really expensive. This is a $2,245 bike, exercise yeah. bike, a stationary yeah. bike. $2,000. $2,000. Are these the ones where people talk to you on it? Yeah. And it's got the screen, yeah. so it makes you cool. You can take the cycling class with yeah. the dude. Journey with it, yeah. I don't know. $40 a month for a subscription for you to get these classes. 
just got. You don't get that with the $2,000 bike? Good number, right? In the commercials, the chicks always hop off of it and like towel off like they just hopped off a dick. <laughs> 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 like it's the most satisfying experience of her life. Like, like oh, that was absurd. some bomb dick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yes. Now, a Peloton. Get up. First ride. First ride. I'm a little nervous, but worry. excited. What's this? Oh, I saw this lady's face. Are you surprised? I am. Six a.m. Yay. Rising with the sun. That was totally worth it. Let's go race to Boston. 50 rides. She just said my name. A year ago, oh, I didn't realize how much wait. this would change me. She vlogged it all? <laughs> Thank you. What this is happening? Give the gift of Peloton. Uh, what's happening is she looks exactly the same after one year. After one year, that's probably why like their stocks went down. She was definitely what? like out of shape what? in that first. What? What's that? What 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 why is that outrage? You know what's crazy? Their stock went down like a billion fucking dollars. Oh, is, are people mad that they? He's calling his wife fat. Is that what they're saying? So that's part of it. So it's kind of like, what? What the fuck? Like, I don't know your, what your already fit wife needs to be surprised with an exercise bike? That's fucking weird. She what? wanted it. Yeah. What if her cardio sucks? She looks good, but her cardio sucks. <laughs> she has lung capacity is not there. Maybe she yeah. looks good, but she had whack cankles. <laughs> <laughs> Does riding a bicycle get rid of cankles? It makes your calves big. Yeah, maybe she uh, had yeah. flabby inner thighs. I don't know. Well, yeah, I think right, the biggest so that, concern yeah. is that she didn't even look like she changed after That's a another year. one. Okay, that, the fact that she didn't change at all. She sucks at editing, by the way. But isn't that yeah. all? It's just like boring. <laughs> all commercials. No, but the fact that she's like, literally saying, like this, uh, a year ago, I didn't realize how much this would change me. When she uh, literally did not change at all. Like, I couldn't yeah. even see a difference. But you know, like all the like food commercials, right? Like no one better lay a finger on my butterfinger. They don't go and then gain 40 pounds. <laughs> no, but they're not actually saying, look how much weight I, I lost. You know, or I gain. But don't active people, wouldn't an active person want a Peloton? Yeah. So, that's all, not after that's seeing all this, this. saying. Yeah. That's okay. So th these are the, the things that people are pointing out. So another one is the fact that she, she vlogged a whole year of her exercising and saying how terrified she was to first get on it where it's like, it's just a fucking exercise. <laughs> she just goes downstairs and like, stop looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> the husband's like moving it into the room and just like, she like wakes up at her from behind the fridge. <laughs> you like those cookies, don't you? And then some people even pointed out like the only thing that changed was the positioning of the bike from that beautiful window to the yeah. basement at the end of the year. Um, and then also the fact that she like forced her husband to watch the whole year's vlog. <laughs> His eyes are just bleeding. <laughs> Damn, the internet roasted the fuck out of this commercial. I saw that picture of her face scared and I, on Twitter. I didn't. Yeah. I had no context. Why is she scared? It's a pretty memeable picture, oh, though. <laughs> so you want to read it? I'm just about to go skydiving or something. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so funny. I'm nervous. I've never ridden a stationary bike. It's the scariest thing I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> Even worse than giving birth. I'm terrified. <laughs> Please help me, Peloton. I think the most unrealistic thing about all of this is that they didn't fight immediately when he gifted her a fucking bike. Yeah. Dude, if, if the Peloton, they just gotta fix it. They just gotta fix the look of it. Because if it looked like a gigantic dick, I think that this would work. Uh, is that your marketing strategy for Peloton in 2020? You're just like, look, guys, I think it's just a look, like, I think it's just a branding thing. I think we just shaped the whole thing like a dildo. Yeah. Problem solved. A big mechanical dick. Mm -hmm. Now that we've done Dissected, I see how funny and weird it is. Right. But like, uh, it's weird for me to find people that get outraged from it. Because I remember it came out on the commercial. Mm -hmm. You guys know I watch commercials. Yeah, a lot and of commercials. As soon as I, You're an aficionado, apparently. <laughs> like when I see the first three seconds and I go, I could already tell I'm not their market. Yeah. I just tune away and I don't get emotionally like riled up mm -hmm. or reactive to what's going on. Well, hold on. If you do, if you are the market, yeah. you do get emotionally riled up. If it's inaccurate or if, yeah. like, let's say there's a powerlifting commercial <laughs> and there's clear fallacies in there, I'm like, oh, this is bullshit. Form. Yeah. Bart's just like. <laughs> Yeah, so this is for fat women. <laughs> Bart, sometimes the things you say terrifies me. Really? Yeah, because you you try to engage with the commercial and you give it a chance before you <laughs> dismiss it. I try to. No, you're not the market for it. <laughs> Who the fuck even thinks like this except for you on the earth? No, well, like I don't know. Like uh, so, the, the most recent commercial I saw it was a uh, Little Caesars. It came on, and then I you're was like, like, I'm not a Caesar I'm like, or a little. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this shit ain't for me. I'm not even Roman. <laughs> and then I, I turned away. But at the end of the commercial, they're like medium pizzas for five bucks. <laughs> then I was like, I am this market. I am me. Holy I 
Yo, you, you, you were you were in the commercial. You were just waiting to like hear the hear the Fred, selling. How do we all of Little Caesars <laughs> thing is our five dollar pizza? By the way, the way that, underrated way to come back because Little Caesars was gone for like eleven yeah, years yeah. and they just came back like everything's five bucks. We're like, <laughs> I'm right. in. Yeah. I don't care what it tastes <laughs> like. It is five dollars. The prices are a dollar, or at least it used to be. I don't know if they still are. No, because it opened with the new Little Caesars thin crust, right? I'm like, if I'm gonna get thin crust, I'll go somewhere else. <laughs> But then it said five bucks, and that's when I turned it Are you talking back to your TV? <laughs> He's so scary. <laughs> little Caesar thin crust. You crazy, Little Caesar. <laughs> deep dish for you and deep dish only. And every time Five dollars, you, around, you say? It's to like ten to Tyco. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You got my hand, Little Caesar. Three dollars, and you got a deal. <laughs> Dude, Tyka, you, Gio finds Tyka in the dryer, and you, and she's like, "What? Ha why is he in the fucking dryer?" And you're like, you're "Like, oh, this Little Caesar's commercial was engaging with me." <laughs> you're like, "This fucking bitch, Little Caesar's, tried to tell me that it was gonna be." Six dollars for a pizza. I couldn't let that slide. <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. sweating. <laughs> you guys don't talk to commercials in your no, mind. No, no Bart. Day. Nobody does. No. I, Obviously, I these to people do. They, oh yeah. yeah. My grandma does, but that's because no one talks to her. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Especially not me. I haven't called her in a year. Oh shit. <laughs> you know what? I should call her. I'll, I'll mark it down. Yeah, call her, and then you'll be like, "Oh, this is why I don't call you." <laughs> Damn. She's not talking. To the commercial still while you're on the phone with it. Today's video is sponsored by Sampbird. Sampbird is a monthly subscription service that gives you 600 different brands that you can sample from, from different fragrances and cosmetics and skincare products. Semper lets you choose a designer fragrance every month for just $15 a month. Check it out, it comes in these little velvet bags. Ooh and it comes in these sticks, and I personally use this, especially when I travel, because before I had one of these twisty cases, I would buy the sample travel size, right? And then the problem with that is when you throw it in your hygiene bag or your luggage, everything gets squished and it sprays and it contaminates like your whole luggage and everything smells and it gives you a headache. It has this little safe little container that when you go like this, now it's nice and safe, like a lipstick or chapstick, and it'll never come out. And also what I like about it is it's travel safe. So all of them are under four ounces, so you won't get stopped by TSA or Customs or whatever. And every single month they can send you a different designer fragrance so that you could test all of them. Because if you go to the mall, you have to buy a big old bottle, and then you smell it, and you're like, oh, it smells good at the mall. Then when you go home, you're like, what the hell, I don't like it anymore, and you're mm -hmm. stuck with the big old bottle. And each bottle gives you 120 to 140 sprays. That's a lot. And look, they fill it up all the way to the top. You see that? They have all kinds of brands like Prada, Gucci, Tom Ford, and a bunch of indie brands. This one's Kenneth Cole Black Bold. I like this one. This one's Gucci. Guilty Poor Home. Guilty Poor the Homies. Yeah. It smells, this one smells really good, actually. Plus, now they have products from other categories like skincare, wellness, and makeup. And make sure you use coupon code JKN30 to get 30% off your first month at Scentbird.com. It's just $10 for your first month. That's right, $10 for your first month. Or just go ahead and click in the description box below. There's gonna be a little link that takes you straight to the Scentbird and you're gonna get our deal. Boop, boop, boop. I like this one. This one is Co Costume National Scent Intense. And out of their selection, there's plenty of designer fragrances for men and women. How do you pronounce this? Bovulgari? Bulgari. Why is it a V and not a U? Being fancy. So out of these, I think I'm more drawn to this one. It's the Gucci Guilty one, and it's because it smells like you just came out of the shower. So I'm a big fan of very fresh, citrusy smelling fragrances, and this one is it. This one is Kenneth Cole Black Bold. Mm -mm. I like this one because it smells like you're on your first day after you just broke up from a relationship. <laughs> I 